It's ready? Yeah. It's ready. You sure? Yep. So it's live now? No one so they see us asking if it's ready? They see it. Probably nobody's on here. But then the people that watch the replays, they're going to be like, these guys didn't even realize the camera was on. Is that what we look like now? Is that what this is all boiled down to? Let's see. Brandy Whitmire, I'll call you back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up, Closer Nation? It's, uh, what is today, Wednesday? Let's talk some sales. You know, I've got a little, little feeling salesy this morning. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let's talk to like the fastest way to close sales. So do me a favor first. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the heart button. Uh, hit all. What, so, hit something, damn it. Like, let's let some people know that we're here. Leave a comment. Say hello. Have we got anybody on there yet? Is anybody oh, yeah, watching? 35 people. 35 we got Sarah people. Parvin. We got Brian Schaefer. And Carrie Craig, of what's course. What's up, Sarah, Ke Sarah <laughs> Carrie, Brian? What's up, y'all? Joel Christner's here. Yeah, we got some entourage folks in the group. Dustin Black just joined Dustin up. Black. What's up, Dustin? We were just texting each other last night. He said he was hanging out with a bunch of stars and stuff like that. That's, dude, <laughs> that's what Dustin does, right? So, All right, so let's talk about the fastest way to close a sale. I'm going to give you a revelation that always pisses salespeople off, but here's what I know about the truth. The truth shall set you free, but it'll probably piss you off first, right? And so here's the thing. With salespeople, we try to get focused on our product or our service, right? It's like, I, in Dustin's case, I sell moving, right? Uh, and Brandy that just called me, in her case, I sell mortgages. Uh, some of you might sell real estate or cars or whatever, but nobody really wants that, right? Like nobody wants a mortgage, right? What they want is a home. And what they really want is a place to live that fits their lifestyle. Like nobody's looking for insurance, right? What they want to do is be legal and, and be protected in case they get into an accident, right? They want to be secure that they're not going to be out all of their money and they want to be insured. But nobody wants insurance. It's forced on us by the government. So as salespeople, if, if we get caught up consistently talking about our product, and trying to sell our product. And that's like the old school way of thinking. You know, here at Hardcore Closer, we're about modern sales. And the old school way of thinking is it's all about your product and your service. And the truth is, like, product and service are everywhere these days. You know, uh, I talked to somebody that owned a, it's a client of mine, uh, Eric Dew, and I talked to him yesterday, and he owns a Chevy dealership in Wyoming. His nearest competitor is 120 miles away. Unless you live in Wyoming, your competitor is probably going to be a lot closer to you than that. And so you don't have to worry about price and service because your competitor is probably going to offer that too. But we get caught up in that as salespeople who say, oh, what makes you the best at XYZ? It's like, well, I got great products and awesome service. Well, that's what every dipshit says. Okay. So let's talk about what the customer wants because the customer is not looking for a great product and service. Like nobody rolls over in the middle of the night when they have like a problem and they're like, we need a great product and some excellent service. That's our issue. Right? Like, it's not the case. So we try to sell something that doesn't even exist in the minds of the prospect, and then we plan it in the mind of the prospect, which causes them to have make to, for them to have to make more decisions, which people hate making decisions, because once you make a decision, you have to stand by it firmly. It's a, a weird thing that we humans do. And so what happens is nobody wants to make a decision because decisions come with consequences, and you put more decisions on them and you end up blowing a sale. And so the thing is, here's what I want for you. And a nice allergies this morning, right? I drank a few vodka last night, a little stuffed up this morning, but it's all good. But here's what I want to talk to you, how to close a sale fast, right? And so the thing is, you know, we, as salespeople, our thing is it's a numbers game. The sooner we can close somebody and get them what they bought from us, the sooner we can go on to the next one and get paid and get paid and get paid. So I'm going to talk to you about how to close sales fast. And the first thing you have to do is you have to identify that your product, this is my artwork, right? It's not even Whiteboard Wednesday, I'm over here on this shit. But you have to identify the problem your prospect has. You see, let's go back to mortgages. Nobody wants a mortgage, right? What people want is a home. Like nobody rolls over in the middle of the night and they go, honey, we need a 30 year fixed at 5% interest with no mortgage insurance. Like that's not a conversation that exists, guys. It's not. But what happens is people roll over in the middle of the night and they say, honey, you got fired from your job. We're gonna have to sell our house. Honey, you got fired from your job. We're gonna have to refinance our house. Honey, you got fired from your job. We're gonna have to pull equity out of our house. And so the problem that you're looking for is the honey, we, you got fired from your job. It's not about a mortgage. It's not about pulling equity out. It's not about buying a new house. It's the fact that the person lost their job. But here's the thing that I do know. Sales are closed based on empathy. And I've been saying this for my entire career. And empathy, it, not sympathy, not feeling bad for somebody. Empathy, understanding a person's situation, right? When you are empathetic towards somebody and you say, oh man, I completely understand that. Right? That's what salespeople, that's, that's where we fail. A lot of people fail because they don't have empathy. And the only way to garner empathy from somebody is to get them to talking so that you can identify their problems so that you can be empathetic towards it. And when people know that you have a solution 
and you're empathetic towards their problem, then they trust you. They're confident enough to make that decision because one of the hardest things to do is get a human being to make a decision because decisions come with consequences, like I said earlier. So what you've got to do is you've got to identify what that person's problem is. But when you go into a, a prospect for the first time, uh, a lot of times they're not just going to say, hey, I got fired from a job, right? That's not something anybody's proud of, right? Except for multi-level marketers, weirdos. <laughs> it's like, but it's not something that anybody's really proud of, right? And so that's not something that somebody's just going to get on the phone and say, well, I got fired from a job, I suck at working, or whatever the case, it's not going to happen. You have to have some questions, right? You need five or so questions that you're going to ask these people that are going to identify what that problem is. And so those questions for you might be like, hey, what, what made you decide to uh, want to move? Right? What made you decide to reach out? The questions might be, uh, what, what, is, what is the factor in your life that's making you have to move or that's, that you need this money for? For real estate agents, it might be, hey, what, what area are you looking to move in? How much, of, uh, what is your price range for a home? Why is it that you're deciding to move? Do you need to sell the home that you live in? Like you ask these people questions so that they can start telling you their story, right? Someone comes in for a car, it's like, hey man, what do you, you, know, what do you need a car for? You know, what made you decide to come in today? Now, oftentimes, salespeople just start up and go, man, this thing's got a 5.0 Hemi with a motherfucking slingshot deck in the back and all this other stuff, right? That we, the people, they don't care about. They need a car because they need to get to work or the other one broke down or the other, or somebody made fun of them driving the car that they're currently driving or they just got a raise and they want something that reflects that that makes them feel good or they moved a long ways from work and they need a fast car to be able to get to the office now. Like, so there's a reason why somebody, so you're looking to identify. The first thing is don't start selling your shit Start asking questions and identifying why the prospect's there in the first place, right? What made you walk into the dealership? What made you apply for a mortgage online? What made you fill out the form on Zillow looking for a real estate agent to help you, right? Like start asking questions instead of selling yourself. I see salespeople all the time. I get messages from them and they go, well, I got 10 years in the business, blah, 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 blah. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit how long you've been in the business because I hire people that barely got less than six months in the business. Hell, I hired Jose, who's about to be our general manager. He had no experience. So it, none of that matters. As a matter of fact, Damon John mentioned the other day that when people start telling him how big a market was, he's like, oh, good. Well, like I give a shit that your pills are a $50 billion a year market. Guess what? It's a $3 trillion a year market, the bankruptcy. Do you want 1% of that? I don't, <laughs> right? And so people start talking about their product and their services and themselves and the prospects can give a shit. We live in, thanks to social media, we live in a narcissistic society. People only care about themselves. And if you're talking about you and you're talking about a product, guess what you're not talking about? the person and they're there for you to gain empathy towards them so that you can understand their problem and when they know you understand their problem you provide a solution that's the fastest way to close a sale it's not about how good you talk or how fast you can do the walk around the demo the gfe the rate sheet uh, none of that shit matters right what matters is that this person has a problem and your product can be the solution and so what you've got to do along this bridge is you've got to have these questions preloaded. like you should know that the majority of your prospects show up with this problem and this is how your product solves that problem. You know this, like the majority of your, like the majority of my prospects show up with one of two problems. They need more leads or they have so much work, they've gotta be able to put systems in place if they're ever gonna scale and make more money. They feel like maxed out. Those are the two problems. So when someone shows up on a sales call with us, what we're trying to identify is, hey man, do you not have enough leads? Or hey man, do you have too much work and you need us to put systems in place to be able to allow you to scale? Those are the things that I'm looking for. And we've got preloaded questions, but I'm gonna tell you, you have to fill out an application and find out and go through it yourself. But those are the things that, that we know that our clients, most of our clients are facing. And so when we get somebody, we have these five, six, actually ours is six questions that we ask them that draw them out into, oh yeah, well, hey, well, here's my problem, perfect. Well, here's how we can solve that, right? Just make your checks payable, the hardcore closer. <laughs> and so I want you to think about this today as you head out there to the sales floor, pick up the phone, go to your networking meetings, get on social media, whatever the case it is, start paying attention to your prospects. The fastest way to close the sale is to actually be interested in the prospects so that they understand that you're empathetic, you understand their situation so that when you understand and they know you understand and you provide a solution, there's a hell of a good chance that they're gonna be confident in you and make a decision and that decision oftentimes is to buy. So if you enjoy this, make sure you share it. Uh, if you're not in our sales talk with sales pro group, go over there and send a request to join the group. You can go to salestalkgroup.com and it'll take you right there to the group. That's salestalkgroup.com. We've got about 60,000 members in there. Come join us, be a part of the community. Don't spam us, but hang out with us. Later.